everlasting consolation. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 16 Consolation, there is music in the word. Like David's harp, it charms away the evil spirit of melancholy. It was a distinguished honor to Barnabas to be called the son of consolation. Yet, it is one of the illustrious names of one greater than Barnabas, for the Lord Jesus is the consolation of Israel. Everlasting consolation, here is the cream of all, for the eternity of comfort is the crown and glory of it. What is this everlasting consolation? It includes a sense of pardoned sin. A Christian has received in his heart the witness of the Spirit, that his iniquities are put away like a cloud, and his transgressions like a thick cloud. If sin is pardoned, is that not an everlasting consolation? Next, the Lord gives his people an abiding sense of acceptance in Christ. The Christian knows that God looks upon him as standing in union with Jesus. Union to the risen Lord is a consolation of the most abiding order, it is, in fact, everlasting. Let sickness wear us out. Have we not seen hundreds of believers as happy in the weakness of disease, as they would have been in the strength of robust and blooming health? Let death's arrows pierce us to the heart. Our comfort does not die, for have not our ears often heard the songs of saints as they have rejoiced, because the living love of God was shed abroad in their hearts in dying moments? Yes, a sense of acceptance in the Beloved is an everlasting consolation. Moreover, the Christian has a conviction of his security. God has promised to save those who trust in Christ. The Christian trusts in Christ, and he believes that God will be as good as his word and will save him. He knows and feels that he is safe by virtue of his being bound up with the person and work of Jesus.